let's go on a road trip from Boston to Martha's Vineyard. Hey guys, I'm JQ Louise. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking our 2021 Tesla Model Y on a road trip from Boston to Martha's Vineyard for New Year's weekend. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're interested in Tesla content. We own a 2021 Tesla Model Y and we're sharing our entire Tesla ownership experience, everything from delivery day to installing accessories and going on road trips. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's get started. So we're leaving Boston. It's about 6.30 in the morning and we have 68% state of charge. We're heading down to Martha's Vineyard. So we're driving to Woods Hole and then taking the ferry there. So we'll be charging on the way. Uh, we'll be charging at a supercharger on the Cape before we get to the ferry. So we're almost at the supercharger and this is the supercharger in Sagamore Beach. It's right before the bridge and we're at 45% right now and we're literally two minutes away. So this is a great supercharger because it's right before the Sagamore Bridge. So if you're going to the Cape, I recommend you stop off here before you go over the bridge because then there's fewer options down on the Cape but this one is actually pretty convenient. We've charged here before, and we'll show you where it is. So this supercharger is super easy to find, and it wasn't crowded at all when we got there. Okay, so we just got to the supercharger, and I just realized this one we actually haven't been to before. We went to the one on the Cape last time when we came to Chatham. But right now we have 45% state of charge. As you can see on the map, we're literally right before the Sagamore Bridge. So this is a super convenient one. And there's a Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's right here. So, you know, if you drove all the way from Boston or from further, you can get something to eat while you charge up. But we'll probably charge here for 15 minutes just so we can, you know, fill back up so we have plenty for the weekend. It's always so nice when you're the only ones at the supercharger. So we charged up to 90% just so we could have plenty for the weekend because we still need to drive all the way to Woods Hole, which is 30 more minutes away. And then we need to use the car on Martha's Vineyard. So it's almost eight o'clock and now we're gonna go head over to Woods Hole. So obviously we were doing this drive in the winter, in the off season on the Cape. If you were doing this in the summer, you'd have to allow a lot more time to get down to Woods Hole. So we just got to the ferry line at Woods Hole. We have a 30 minute wait. So we're playing a little beach buggy racing while we wait to board the ferry. And if you didn't know, you can actually plug in a PlayStation controller to your car through the USB in there so that you can play these games like, you know, you're on PlayStation or Xbox or something like that. And you can actually set this up uh, wireless. We, uh, we haven't tried that yet, but maybe we'll do that on the way home. So yeah, lots of fun stuff in your Tesla while you wait. So it's 9.13, the ferry is a 9.30 ferry and they're starting to board us. So if you've never taken a car ferry, they're all pretty similar. So usually you line up in these, like um, different rows and then they just start boarding you. So it's super easy and in the off season, it's pretty convenient because you can book your ticket not that far in advance. In the summer, you need to book them way far in advance if you're going to Martha's Vineyard or Nantucket. We booked these tickets like a week ago. So, um, you know, pretty easy and you can see where we are. So we're in Woods Hole um, in Falmouth in Massachusetts and then Martha's Vineyard is right there so it's a quick little trip but you just drive right on and you know it's easy we'll have our tesla on martha's vineyard so we're 
we're just driving our Tesla Model Y into this car ferry from Woods Hole to Martha's Vineyard. You can see there's lines on the ground and these guys just direct you where to go. So you just kind of follow along. And one tip is you want to get here early so you're at the front of the line. That way you can get off of the ferry pretty easily. The great thing about going to Martha's Vineyard versus Nantucket is that even the car ferry is very quick. So this is only a 45 minute ride and you know that includes having your car. So it's super easy. You literally just drive off once you land on Martha's Vineyard. For this trip, we stayed at the Harborview Hotel in Edgartown. It's an awesome hotel. We've stayed there in the past, so highly recommend it. Okay, so this is where we parked. The hotel has a huge parking lot. There's plenty of space and parking is complimentary for all guests. So we left the Model Y here overnight and now we're gonna go explore the island. So we are driving around Edgar Town and there are so many nice Christmas lights still up. It's super pretty and it's just so beautiful. And especially at night, it's just really nice to drive around or walk around. And right now we have 75% state of charge. We haven't really driven a lot today. We just went to stop and shop to grab some waters. But more, other than that, we'll probably just leave the car parked most of the weekend, but we have plenty of charge if we want to, you know, explore the island and drive around. So we're leaving the hotel right now, heading over to the ferry. We're actually trying to get on standby for a slightly earlier ferry, and we're leaving with 74% state of charge. All right, so uh, we're getting a little bit of fog in the front windshield, so I turned on the front defroster. Um, it automatically put on the auto seat, um, which I you know, just disabled. I don't really want my seat on. I'm not worried about the temperature inside. I just was trying to get this off the, the windshield. Um, the mirrors were also fogged up, which was interesting, and we just looked into it. Turning the front one on doesn't actually help. It's actually enabling the rear defroster, um, which then her mirror, the passenger mirror is cleared up. The driver one is clearing up. I just turned it back on and it has gotten much better. So interesting that that's what that is linked to. So you have to use the rear defroster to defrost your side mirrors. So the ferry terminal is located in Vineyard Haven, which is about a 15 or 20 minute drive from Edgar Town. So especially depending on the season, make sure you allow enough time to get there and to line up for your ferry. And this is what it looks like when you pull into the ferry terminal, when you are traveling with your car, you just have to go up to one of these ticket booths and they'll tell you where to go. So the ferry is starting to board. We're waiting in the standby lane right now. This is two hours ahead of the schedule that we booked. So hopefully we'll get on. It looks like we will. And right now we have 72% state of charge. So we're doing fine. We should have plenty to get back to Boston. And yeah, let's see if we get on this ferry. We made it. So we're moving and we're going onto the boat. We might be literally at the back of the boat. <laughs> yeah. 
So we made it onto the boat and we were one of the last three cars that made it on. So, you know, we got lucky because this was the off season. And even in the summer, you can wait in the standby line as well. But, you know, it's just if there is a cancellation because in the summer, these ferries will be fully sold out. So we made it onto the ferry. We had tickets booked for the 2.30 ferry. This is the noon one. So it's New Year's Day. Obviously there's a lot of people trying to get off of Martha's Vineyard and get back to Boston. So I'm super happy we made it. So if you've never taken a car ferry to Martha's Vineyard or Nantucket, basically as long as you have a ticket that day, you can wait in the standby lane um, for any of the other ferries. So, you know, if your schedule changes or you wanna leave a little bit early, just keep that in mind. Usually in the summer, it's super hard to make the standby because there'll be a lot of people waiting, but in the off season, even on a holiday like New Year's, we were able to do it. So it's definitely worth a try if you wanna get back home a little bit earlier. So we're on the ferry and we're just waiting. There's about 20 minutes left. So we're playing some games on here. Another great thing about a Tesla, you have plenty of entertainment while you're waiting. So after a 45 minute ferry, we're only down to 71%. So use 1% of us just in the car and we're about to get off. Our lane should be moving any second now. Okay, so we're off the ferry. We have plenty of charge to get back to Boston and we're ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our road trip in our Tesla Model Y. Be sure to check out our other videos for lots more fun Tesla content.